Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Rose Suhal and you are watching our content's daily English news. Today is 25 March 2024. Today's news headlines. Rohingya bodies found on Indonesian beach. Five Rohingyas were arrested by military council in Mongdo. A Rohingya journalist has been beaten up by Bangladesh authorities. Nearly a thousand Myanmar nationals who crossed the border illegally were arrested. The Thai government has started providing humanitarian aid to Burmese refugees. Details of today's news. Authorities said that two Rohingya bodies have been found floating in the water of the west coast of Ash, Indonesia. A boat carrying more than 150 Rohingya refugees capsized on March 20. And although about 70 people on the boat were rescued, more than 70 others are missing, according to the United Nations Relief and Work Agency. The bodies of two missing women were found by local fishermen on Saturday. Reuters reported on March 24 that there are still more people drowning. The authorities are still searching for the missing people. He also said that this would be the highest number of deaths this year. Rohingyas from Mema and Bangladesh are fleeing to Indonesian shores through a long sea journey. In 2023 alone, more than 2,300 Rohingyas came to Indonesia. The United Nations has said that nearly 570 Rohingyas have died at First Rohingyas, resident of Shweza Kapagong Rohingya village in Mongdo Township, were arrested by military councils BGP Battalion 5 based in Mutuji on the last 21st March 2024. A source said that military council conducted a raid in Shweza Kapagong Rohingya village and arrested those five Rohingya youths while they were present at homes during the presence of military council in the village. He also added that military council who conducted raid at the village are from BGP Battalion 5 based in Mutuji and they surrounded the village and arrested five Rohingya youths. A villager said that the Rohingya youths who were arrested may be for forcibly conscription to serve for military council. In addition, some Rohingya prominent persons and some of religious leaders from Mongdo were arrested by military council on 21st March 2024. And they were forced to give pressure on Rohingya community in Mongdo to organize demonstration against economy a like held in Butidong. The prominent persons and some of religious leaders who were arrested by military council are still detained at the Mutuji BGP battalion, said a villager. A Rohingya journalist named Saiful Arkani has been beaten up with no reasons by Bangladesh authorities while he was returning home after performing prayers from mosques. The incident took place on 23rd March 2024 at approximately 4.50 p.m. Seful Arkani said that on 23rd March, Saturday, 39 Ansar Police Battalion of Bangladesh came in front of me when I came out of the mosque after performing prayers and they started kicking, punching as well as using sticks on me without asking anything and they dragged me towards the break of the Tinan Ansar Police Battalion. He also added that members of the Tinan Ansar Police Battalion of Bangladesh also seized Mashiran in their break. They even needed a spare Mashiran, my seven years old nephew and my five years old son have been oppressed and injured severely and we are bleeding. Later, when the camp management committee and the Rohingya refugees protest against the operation of 39 Ansar Police Battalion of Bangladesh on my children, then Ansar Police Battalion senior officer lies to them and blames children of throwing stones to the mango trees, said Seful Arkani.
Referring to Thai news reports, people helping Myanmar citizens said that nearly a thousand Myanmar nationals were arrested for illegally crossing the border into Thailand in March. Due to the military conscription law of the military council, most young Burmese people have been arrested by the Thai police wherever they go to Thailand by various means, said Umyu Nang, chairman of the Joint Action Committee for Burmese Affairs. Now the airline is constantly monitoring airplanes and helicopters are watching next with various CCTVs. In some places, they are even host drops. In those situations, the border guard is not the only force, so the real Thai army and the city guard, it is not as easy to become illegal as it used to be because more important organizations like Homeland Security are involved. In addition, Thai News reports that the Thai military has announced to increase security along the Thai border due to the intense fighting on the Myanmar side. The list of people who were arrested among those who crossed the border was listed in a statement by Thai immigration and the real Thai army press release, and said that the most people were arrested near the Thai Myanmar borders. Kanchanburi district and the Thai Mema Buddha's Tuk district near Mesut. Those cops will face a one hand and a half to two months prison sentence under the Thailand's immigration law for illegal border crossing. Thailand Tuk district, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Thailand announced that humanitarian aid was provided to Mema refugees in Mesut on March 25. Rise for about 20,000 people, more than 4,000 relief bags, including dry foods and supplies, were handed over to the Miawadi district Myanmar Red Cross. It was approved at the ASEAN Foreign Minister's meeting that the Red Cross societies of Thailand and Burma joined together to provide humanitarian aid. After that, the Thai aid work started. This aid will be distributed within Kaiin State. The ASEAN Humanitarian Aid Coordination Center, AHA Center, will also cooperate with local organizations to help provide immediate humanitarian aid effectively. According to the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, UNOSHA, there are nearly 20,000 war refugees in Kaying State. Thanks for watching Arkan Times Delhi English News.